Well, here we are on a cold day, starting out in the mid-morning. Uh, we're getting ready to take the siding off on this house, put insulation in the walls, repair underneath the windows, which you can't really see where the damage is as much because there's a storage area right there. And uh, we're going to repair all that underneath that, in addition to taking the siding off and rebuilding the wall. Uh, we will also be putting on new siding and putting insulation in the wall and all we're doing to do is make things better for the long haul so first thing we're probably going to end up doing is having to clean up all the leaves because these people are very busy people uh, so they don't even have time to go it outside in the summertime as much as they want busy busy business people uh, so now we're going to discuss all the things that we're gonna try to do by the way we had a really bad time with a new sound uh, link up with the phone and uh, the it was not it was not linking up properly it was not recording properly and end up in a, just really noisy no matter what we did it would shut off for you know randomly. Didn't I, I don't I got tired of messing with it. So here we are doing a voice over because I couldn't stop working. By the way, here's my favorite tool. One of my favorite ladders for sure. Anyway, uh, this is a ladder that somebody brought to me. And said, "Hey man, I paid twenty five bucks for this. What would you give me?" I said, "I'll give you forty. He says, oh, I was just hoping to get my money back. No, man, I want you to make some profit. You drove all we, drove over here from the auction. So this is a folding ladder. It actually shrinks down to a small space, but look what it does. It pulls out like that, and then there's a little latch right here you got to pull up. And then you open it up like that. Ta-da! Man, that is so cool because you can slide it in the back of your car, probably, or you're in your back bed of your truck and not have to worry about keeping the top up or put the, put it on top of the bed. It's uh, really, really neat because you can take it into real tight places and uh, around corners and furniture and everything and you can get there. So that, this gives me the chance to reach up to 10 foot myself. And I can work on uh, ceiling fans and so on. This is my stolen wife's little bitty uh, rake, small rake. And see how it holds my 270 pounds? Well, actually, 275 maybe. Um, here I go. That's how that ladder works. I'm wiggling all over on it. That thing's not got any problem at all. So we're pulling all the leaves off the roof so we don't have to deal with that getting inside the wall and everything. We're going to clean out the gutter and you'll see us do that here shortly. Now we're moving fast with the film, so we don't have to torture you terrible long. Hopefully we can uh, share with you what's possible, and that's what most of these videos are for, is so that you can see what I've learned. And uh, now we've got the gutter cleared out, we're going to start dismantling things so we can make them better. But that underneath the window literally moves around uh, when you're on the inside. It makes you feel like the windows are going to fall out. So we're going to fix that right off the bat. Here I am cleaning up as you will see me do that many, many times.
we'll pull the screws out of the cable wires. It runs all the way around that corner and uh, over to the outside corner. It's able to maintain all those clips and everything so we can put it back. Now, film slows down a bit, and I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> so I'm going to do a voice over what I was saying. Pull that upper trim off. Try to preserve it very carefully. These windows had been replaced by uh, a contractor, but this house was built in the 50s, as you can tell by the, the type of siding. And the uh, windows were sash windows, so that would be the weights were inside the, out the in, inside the wall. And when the rope breaks, you know, one side or the other would uh, go up easier than the other, and so you'd end up jamming the window or having a hard time getting it. You have to hold up on one side more. So we're taking the trim off so that we can get to the siding which is underneath it. I don't know if you can notice, but the windows are moving quite a bit. So we're gonna be pretty careful with it. And that's pretty rotted. But I kept it so I could cut a, a tube of six to match it. Getting the old pieces of wood that were rotted up inside underneath the windows out. That's how rotted it was. Even though the paint was holding it together, you could just take your hands and pull it out. And it gets to a point where the wood's strong enough that we have a hard time pulling it out. But um, we do manage to get that piece, that larger piece out. And now we're getting ready to see that we have to start pulling the handrail off. Didn't want to come off very easy because that rotted wood is not holding up to a pry bar. So I'm going to pull the quarter round that's at the very corner holding up against the soffit. And that way we can pull the siding off, which happens to be right where we want it. Uh, it kind of breaks right there at that, where that quarter round is. Trying to save it. using my head to hold the trim up. I'm 
doing doing a voiceover of this thing it makes me think of keystone cops and all those guys you got you should have piano music playing um now well, it looks like we can pull the siding off I'm going to make a line where I'm going to cut so that I don't open up the whole house. We're just re we're fixing this one area for now. I'm taking the handrail apart so I can get to the cut that line all the way down.